This station is designed to test a candidate's ability to provide both basic and advanced airway management to an apneic adult patient who has a pulse and no injuries. Candidates do not have a specific time to complete the station. Remember to maintain an open airway, good mass seal, and proper ventilation rate and volume with a BVM attached to supplemental oxygen. Ventilate effectively until you are instructed to insert a dual lumen airway, such as a combi tube or PTL. This station requires the candidate to successfully provide ventilation, oxygenation, and the insertion of a dual lumen airway. Equipment at this station includes an airway mannequin, bag mask device, supplemental oxygen, airway adjuncts, a dual lumen airway, such as a combi tube or PTL, and personal protective equipment. The main sections of this station are basic airway management, bag mask ventilation, supplemental oxygenation, equipment preparation, and dual lumen airway procedure. Welcome to part two of the adult innovation station. Today I'm going to have you put a dual lumen airway device in. Okay. Take a minute and check and make sure all your equipment's ready. All right. Seems to be. Okay, you're called to the home of 50-year-old male. It's determined the patient is in respiratory arrest. Okay, uh, I have my scene safe, my body substance isolations. Uh, is this patient a trauma or a medical? Patient is a medical. Okay, I'm gonna check for alert. Sir, are you awake? No? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a head tilt, chin lift, open the airway, look, listen, and feel. No breathing. I'm gonna take an oral pharyngeal airway Measure from the corner of his mouth to the earlobe. Insert the oropharyngeal airway. There's and no ventilate. gag. Okay, there's no gag reflex, and the patient accepts the adjunct. Okay, I'm gonna go on ahead and ventilate the patient at a rate of 10 to 12 times a minute. And I'm gonna go on ahead and hook him up to the oxygen at 15 liters per minute. Breath sounds are present and equal bilaterally and medical control has ordered insertion of a dual lumen airway. Okay, if I can get an assistant to ventilate, please. I'm going ahead and check over my equipment. I'm going to inflate my cuff to 100 cc's. Very good. My distal cuff to 15 cc's. I'm going to go ahead and lubricate my tube. Okay, if I can take over. Also have my suction and standby. Remove my oral pharyngeal airway. Do a tongue and jaw lift. Insert the tube. The two black lines should be at the teeth level. Go ahead and inflate my cuff. This the cuff to 15 cc's. Go ahead and ventilate through tube one. I'm going to go ahead and auscultate bilaterally over both lungs. You do not see rise and fall of the chest, and you only hear sounds over the epigastrum. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and ventilate through tube two. And again, auscultate over both lungs. You now have adequate chest rise, absence sounds over the epigastrum, and equal bilateral breast sounds. Okay. At this time, I go ahead and secure the tube and continue ventilations. Is there anything else? Nope, I'm done. Okay. Thank you. All right. Begin the station by indicating that the proper personal protective equipment is being used. Begin this station as if you have already determined that the patient is apneic. Open the airway and insert an airway adjunct, such as an OPA. Maintain a good seal and begin ventilation at a rate of 10 to 12 breaths per minute. Watch for the chest to rise and fall. Use the oxygen tubing to attach the bag mask device to the oxygen delivery system. Adjust the flow rate to 15 liters per minute. Continue providing ventilation at the proper rate and volume. Direct the examiner to take over ventilation while you prepare the dual lumen airway. With the equipment check complete, position the patient's head and perform a tongue jaw lift. 
If using the comma tube, insert the device midline to the proper depth so that the ring on the tube rests at the teeth. Inflate the pharyngeal cuff and disconnect the syringe. Inflate the distal cuff and disconnect the syringe. Auscultate bilaterally over each lung and the epigastrium to confirm the proper tube placement. If the chest does not rise and fall and you only hear sounds over the epigastrium, you have intubated the trachea. Attach the bag valve device to the second lumen, ventilate, and confirm proper tube placement. An alternative to the comma tube is the PTL. Insert the device midline to the proper depth so that the bite block flange rests at the teeth. Secure the strap. Inflate both cuffs through tube number one. The examiner checks the candidate's performance against the critical criteria for the station. The critical criteria for this station that would have resulted in failure were failing to take or verbalize the use of body substance isolation precautions, failing to provide initial ventilations within 30 seconds, or interrupting ventilations for greater than 30 seconds at any time, failing to provide a high oxygen concentration, failing to ventilate at an appropriate rate and with adequate volume for each breath, failing to pre-oxygenate prior to inserting the device, failing to successfully place the device within three attempts, failing to properly inflate both cuffs, failing to disconnect the syringe after inflating each cuff, failing to confirm proper tube placement, and performing a procedure that would be dangerous to the patient. As part of this station, turn over ventilations of the patient to the instructor at a rate of 20 breaths per minute while you check your equipment. When ready, insert the airway device without delay and verify the correct placement using a five-point auscultation method. If the device fails to make the chest rise, then it is likely in the trachea. Use the second tube to effectively provide ventilation.